You're watching The Mic Check on every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Hello and welcome everybody to the first mic check of 2019. Thank you all for being here. We're going to have a ton of fun and uh, hopefully we'll change things up in the new year. Who knows? We might throw some curveballs at you. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> anyway, we've got a fun script today. Today is about being as natural as possible. And uh, our first read is going to be given to us by Devin. So Devin, whenever you're ready, go for it. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Let's see, I don't have names. Oh, they're Andrew. Oh, all right. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. And then I'll pass it off to Frank. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for, so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Dan. I knew that was coming. Okay. <laughs> wow, well, only because you're sitting there flashing. How can I mean? <laughs> Dan, Dan, the glow-in-the-dark man. You're hard to ignore, Dan. Really hard to ignore. <laughs> He's trying really hard. <laughs> I'm trying well, to fly under the radar here, he says. <laughs> I'm hiding. Well, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So... We found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Nathan. Okay. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Richard. Okay. Look, I, I, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they make it look so easy. And, of course... It looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't really planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Russ, are you there? Yep. 
You're on, bud. Thank you. Um, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watched those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment, so we found an investment property and discovered pr pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up and we hadn't planned or, but uh, we hadn't planned or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Uh, Devin? You went first? I believe it's me, right? Oh, sorry. You got Devin, me, Goldie, Janet. and Janet. And Goldie. Devin, Janet, and G or Mike, Goldie, Janet. Devin's yeah, first. Are the three that haven't gone? Russ. Oh, Mike. Oh, me. Okay. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in under an hour with, com in an hour. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. All right, Golda, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they make, make it look, let me try that again. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned for or planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. All right, last but not least, Janet, you're up. I don't want to say that we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for, so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. All right, so that's everybody. Uh, Janet, I think you might need to turn the gain up on your microphone a bit more. You're pretty oh, quiet sorry. right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Now you're coming in real low. Wow. So do so all the rest of my auditions today, then. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I got a call back. I don't care. It's, it's all good. <laughs> All righty then. So that's all the preliminary reads out of the way. Let's start up the discussion. What did everybody notice about the reads? Any commonalities? Any any things maybe that stuck out to you that didn't quite sound right? Or like, what did, what did you all notice? I know I, think, I messed up. I think everybody. Of course you notice where you messed up, Dan. <laughs> You're not supposed to notice that, Dan. You're in trouble for that. Not the point, Dan. Here's a common rule here. No self-critique. Hmm. You cannot critique yourself. Reason being is that the moment you start doing that is the moment you begin pulling yourself out of your performance mode. When you're behind the microphone, you're the performer. You leave those notes on to what to change to the director. Which means everybody else. Is, yes, yes, everybody else. The collective director. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Frank, you had something. What was it? 
Well, I was just going to say, I think, I think everybody did a decent job. Some people did a little too much overacting. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, <laughs> I, I, I think everybody did a did decent enough job keeping it fairly um, uh, conversational. I don't think anybody slipped into announcer mode too badly uh, mm-hmm. or anything like that. But again, that's, that's what I heard. And uh, I'm sure others will have other opinions. But I'm getting the ball rolling. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Anybody else? Does anybody else agree or maybe disagree with some points that Frank brought, uh, brought up? Yeah, I don't think we had anybody that was, uh, it, it wasn't too far out of the lines of sounding like you were having a conversation telling somebody, hey, we've had some problems and this place has been really good to deal with. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't hear too much yeah. of that outside of that. Yeah. I thought that there was actually a lot of variations on where people put stresses on things. Mm-hmm. It was interesting. I think the line um, where this is, uh, so they took the time to patiently explain our, our options and the pros and cons. Everybody kind of didn't really know what to stress there or where to mm-hmm. go with that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. it's a run on sentence, so it, yeah. it makes it a little bit more difficult to, because it's two ands there in that one sentence. True. Yep. Four ands in that one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way some people dealt with the second and though, because I feel like that's where in the um, description that says that self-deprecating sense of humor, and I, I think that's really where that came through. Some people were like, and I still made the wrong decision. And I, I kind of like the way that <laughs> flowed, came across. I wasn't certain with that last sentence, whether, I mean, I assume since this is probably, we're talking about some great bank or something that, explain stuff to us that the luckily is a, a positive thing and not a negative thing in that last line because it could be a and then they explained it to me and i felt like a total idiot which i think is not the, <laughs> the <Yeah>. intended <laughs> so some of the things that i noticed um i noticed that Though most of the time uh, people did sound really conversational with this, they did sound fairly natural with it. I, I noticed a few times where um, the actual story continuity about you know the the leading from one thing to the next to the next felt really broken up. Mm-hmm. It didn't feel like it really flowed as well as it could have. Mm-hmm. Uh, particularly going from the very beginning, mm-hmm. um, from you know I don't want to say we were really optimistic to uh, done in an hour with commercials. Yeah. Then transferring to so we found an investment property. Um, I feel that it, it, in a few cases that wasn't communicated too well. That you know it was because oh this looks easy let's do it. You know yeah. it, it felt a little bit disjointed there. Mm-hmm. Um, towards the end, yeah, I think the run-on sentence sort of threw some people off. Mm-hmm. Um, that a caused stumbles. a few uh, a few breaks in the in the story continuity. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, th- there were just a few things that I noticed here. Thankfully, most people were pretty on top of it, which um, I'm going to selfishly conclude that's from all of your attendance on the mic, Jack. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, hey, um, plus, I spent the holidays performing, <laughs> actually performing. <laughs> yeah, I spent the holidays forgetting about absolutely everything. I'm starting on a blank slate. What's voiceover again? Huh? What, what do you call this thing? Yeah. Uh, I've been working uh, with these guys. <laughs> that's nice. I but that, that's just a few things that I've noticed. <clears throat> Holidays of researching production companies. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and now talk about the actual script itself. So what does this sound like it's written for? Is this for TV? Is this for radio? You know, audio visual or just audio? What, what's, what's this for? It looks, it could go either way, honestly. Um, just the, the descriptive properties of it make it sound like it's radio, but you can see the imagery behind the it for uh, like a television or for mm-hmm. explain video i would I, guess radio from the length yeah um, you know, I, I, I i i agree with what dan said i'm sorry who did i just cut off my apologies continue it was me mm-hmm. i'm not it was just richard that's okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, this time he was unmuted, i'm actually though. not muted so <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway what were you gonna say richard uh, oh, I was just going to say that uh, I can see it both ways because of the length of it being radio, but also I could see someone standing there talking into the camera like, yeah, well, we were doing this and then showing kind of all the things that were going wrong and what they bought and the hassles and, yeah. and showing stuff in a total disarray and then <laughs> showing them 
while he's talking about it, being at the the banker or wherever he wanted to get his money could be going on while he's talking about it. So it could be either or probably radio though, but I, I could see that being showing you more of, hey, this is what we were doing and seeing parts and pieces and cabinets and crap laying all over yeah. the place. In the house built on a railroad track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oop, wait, that's Buster Keaton. Yes, <laughs> 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 What do you have, Frank? Well, I was going to basically say the same as you, that uh, it could go either way, radio, television. Uh, if it was a TV spot, I could I could picture one of those kind of things, almost like where it's a, uh, an, an interview show, like a 2020 or something like that, where the camera, the person never actually looks into the camera. It's sort of one of those things where the camera's off to the right side. On the side it's a, shot, but yeah. It's, but it's a little darker, and there's that sort of dramatic, almost melancholy-ish music in the background. And the person is sort of not on the verge of tears, but they're very low key and, and you know, talking about because this is a traumatic thing or something like that. Um, but again, I could see it going either way, just based on the length. It could be a 60, it could be a 30, a 40, yeah. you know, something like that for radio. So uh, I don't think you can really pin it down to one or the other. Although the name does make me think TV more. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, the, only reason, the, only reason I might, the only reason I might say TV is because um, there, there, is no, there is no client mentioned in the spot. Yeah, that's why. I figured it Where, was so the, the, names of the, the name of the client with addresses and different things like that could be superimposed as you're doing the TV spot. Whereas if yeah. it was a radio spot, you would have the name of the client that you're talking about at least two times, sometimes three times in the spot, mm -hmm. and that never occurs. So that's the only reason why I may lean a little more towards TV. Mm -hmm. Yep, all lower thirds. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's probably. Um, Go now, Michael's going to gonna you. tell us we're all full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, as, as, as Goldie mentioned, the, the title gives it away entirely. It's, it's a TV spot. Yeah, I didn't notice that until I was looking here. And it's so, um, <laughs> one, so one thing that I remember being told is uh, the, the specs are only one third of what you really need to be paying attention to when it comes to a script. Um, that's, that's only one third of all the information you need for it. Uh, Frank, that was that was a really good observation of you that there was no actual like business or product name mm -hmm. in the entire thing, which definitely is another dead giveaway that this is a TV script. Mm -hmm. uh, there was an announcer line that I cut off for this uh, yeah, that also did that. not contain a huh. business name or a product name. Hmm. So the only way show. that you would have known that is if there were accompanying visuals. Tools. Yep. Yeah. So that's a great context clue that you pulled out. Thank you for doing that. The other thing that the other two pieces of information that you need to look at when it comes to a script is the title, which can actually give you a great insight as to the feel of the title, or at least the audience of the title. And then the body of the script itself. There's a lot of stuff going on in a script that um, could give you a great indication of what kind of read you're supposed to have, what your volume should be, how you should perform it, what zone you should be in, all that good stuff. So this is definitely a TV script, which means, I'll, I'll quote Nancy Wolfson on this, we're doing more of a voice under than a voice over. Mm -hmm. So we are not center stage on this. Though we are playing a character technically as the homeowner, we are definitely not center stage when it comes to this performance. We are part of a duo. Mm -hmm. So it's us plus the imagery on screen. So with a commercial like this, obviously what they're going to do is they're going to go through establishing shots. So, you know, I didn't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too. And it's probably going to show flashes of the different home improvement shows, you know, somebody throwing a sledgehammer through a wall, you know, move that bus and everything like that. Um, <laughs> you know, and of course it looks easy. They're done in under an hour with commercials. So, you know, maybe it'll show two people looking at each other after watching the show and be like, yeah, let's do that. Sure. Why not? And then it shows them doing everything and it shows all the sweat and all the, you know, the, the dirty, grimy, grungy stuff that they never actually show on those, uh, <laughs> on, on any of the shows and stuff like, like that. A commercial. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Waste you know, deep the the sludge, a, you know. A few two <laughs> yeah. things came up, we have to land on, you open a wall and this big thing of bees comes flying out at them. Or <laughs> a body. <you> know. <laughs> or you open a wall and you have to call the police for something that we won't mention. <laughs> but yeah, I so, found Jimmy so, Hoffa. <laughs> so in looking at in, in looking at all of the things that are not only included in the script, the title and in the directions, but the things that are also omitted will help you visualize and help you see exactly what yeah. this is for. So yes, this is most definitely audio visual. You are playing off of a TV screen. Here's you, here's the screen. You're supposed to be over the shoulder of the person who's watching and the screen is showing them everything that they need to know. So that means voice under. We're doing this at about 70% volume, not quite so high. We're playing off of what's happening on screen. So thankfully this is written fairly descriptive enough that yes you can see what's happening and that's something that you need to play off of mm -hmm. you know what are you really trying to tell the person who's watching this what is what is what is it that you're trying to implant what what's that little you know you're the you're the little shoulder angel over here at least you know you're supposed to be the little shoulder angel over here while they're watching this you're their conscience what are you supposed to be doing with them you're supposed to be relating to them right you're supposed mm -hmm. to sound like yeah i've heard that story before I mean, I, I've, 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 I've gone through crap like that before, or, oh man, I really don't want to go through anything like that. What, you know, what do I need to do to avoid it? And of course, that's when the, uh, uh, that's when the business name and all the contact information is splash up on the screen. That's the whole point. I can see. So it's, it's our I job to make this engaging, but to not take center stage. Mm -hmm. I could almost see it as being the stream of consciousness as the person thinks back and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you know, remembers. So this is where punctuation is really going to be your your best friend here, because as somebody speaks, especially off the cuff, you'll know that they they don't always have everything laid out. They won't talk right through everything. They'll slow down. They'll take time to uh, to process what it is that they're going to say. And thankfully, this is written a lot like that. Um, maybe not all the punctuation or breaks that you might need are there. That's where you need to get a little bit creative and be the performer and ad lib just a bit. But um, for the most part, it's there. At the very beginning, it's, yeah, it's one big massive run on sentence, but there's a bunch of commas in there. And those are supposed to be your key to, you know, give yourself that little time to think about what's happening next. I don't want to say we're overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too. And they make it look, and they all make it look so easy. Of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials, you know? It's kind of like th we're, we're, what we're doing is we're talking about our experience. Mm -hmm. So now I think now that we've established how this is supposed to be delivered, well, actually, before we move on, does anybody have any questions or, or other comments on the script? Anything else that they might have noticed? This one's actually punctuated quite well. We've had some that you just go, Bleh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this one is not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was definitely written by somebody who knew what they were doing. This it's is like definitely a stream of consciousness. Wrote it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is somebody who's uh, who's definitely uh um definitely in with uh with what's going on around uh, behind the scenes. So that's pretty nice. But um so a, a few other questions. Let, let's let's go ahead and see if we can find some answers to this. Who is this for? New home buyers. Uh, well, I don't necessarily say new home buyers because they're looking for an investment property. Yeah. Yeah. New investors. Okay. So somebody who's not experienced enough to know what they're buying when they're buying investment properties. You know, I, I would say young, young to middle age. It wouldn't be seniors or anything like that. This is going to be young, young people yeah. who think they can, uh, they know everything yeah. and can make a quick buck. Or middle-aged people who've got a few extra dollars saved up and they're looking for an, an investment of some kind. Yeah. So that's what yeah. I'm going to say. Uh, yeah. Millennials to middle age. Okay. Yeah, 20-something going, hey, I, I can do this, man. I see it on TV all the time. I'm good at this. <laughs> so... I, maybe maybe age range. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think this is... This is I don't think this is necessarily written towards a specific age range. I think this is written towards a specific situation, personally. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like um, not so much, you know, uh, maybe, you know, new homeowners to, to middle age, anything like that. I think this is somebody who is, who wants to branch out, but is really, or yeah, who wants to branch out with investments mm -hmm. and is really inexperienced with it. Yeah. 
And, yeah. Dare, and I, dare think I say this? In that. Yeah, they would generally be in that same age range. So I'm, I'm not saying that the age range idea was wrong, but I think there's a very specific situation here that they're going for. Yeah. Like somebody who wants good financial information about their future, uh, but just doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. so trying to get into voiceover. Be like the, uh, the acronym. What's the acronym? DINKS? Dual income, no kids. kids. <laughs> chances are those are the people, only people that are going to have the money to do something like that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Kind of uh, looking at it like it, yeah. it's someone who wants to be helpful to others. Look, we did all this. Here's the mistake we made. You know, even after talking to them, I still made mistakes. And luckily, they helped me out with that, too. It's like, don't do what I did. Thank Here, this will God. help you out. Yeah. Mm. That's what I get from it anyway. Okay. So, this so does that make sense to anybody? Does anybody uh, have a different oh, – sorry, go ahead, Dan. This is a commercial that will probably – primarily run on HGTV or DIY. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. Oh yeah. You'd see Probably. it on the waiting room somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because the, the it gets things I done also and... watch the home improvement shows implies that there are missing <laughs> somebody who's watching home improvement shows and thinking about doing that. I'm Whether they're that. investing or they're going to buy a fixer upper for their first, they're going to, you know, I think they're leaning towards the investing, but maybe a little bit of the, any of the, the fixer upper types. Yeah. Okay. So just so I have a recap, this is a TV script written towards people who want to branch out with investments, but yeah. don't know where to go or who want to branch out with their finances and don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. It's specifically targeted for people who watch home improvement shows. So this is definitely going to be on one of those kinds of channels, which generally targets people, uh, you know, maybe mid to late twenties to mid forties, you know, roughly. Mm -hmm. um, so now that we have that settled, let's actually dive into the script and see what's going on with it. So from what I have seen, there is a definite flow to everything that's going on, mm -hmm. which as I mentioned before, I think was lost a little bit along the way. Mm -hmm. Um, this is definitely somebody who has the money to do something, who wants to do it, but who doesn't know how and is just sort of blindly groping in the dark for hopefully the right answer. Um, but has some clue. Has yeah, some clue. Well, they have some clue they, what they want to do. It was do. something yeah. they hadn't planned for or planned on or budgeted for. Yeah. So they had a budget for unplanned things, but it wasn't as big as yeah. they needed it to be. Okay. Yeah, it was an asbestos cleaning or something. So somebody with yeah. some experience then. Wow, we went for the bad stuff right quick, Dan. Yeah, well. <laughs> asbestos. That's, that's a, that's a $20,000 clean for a yes, house. It is. Uh, <laughs> crack in the pool. <laughs> All righty then. So replacing so then, a floor that's rotted completely out. <laughs> I see this personally, at least this is just from my reading. I see this is happening in sort of three parts. Um, what, what do you all notice about, about the story, about specifically what's happening to this person talking about their experience? A, they're optimistic. B, they find out there's more to it. And C, they turn to somebody for help. Okay. Anybody else see anything different in there? See anything maybe they could add? Um, A, they had this great idea. B, they did it and realized it was a mess. And... They found somebody who could help them even when they kept on messing up. <laughs> so I would say that we're all sort of on the same level when it comes yeah. to specifically what's happening in the story. Yeah. yeah. So now we talk about delivery. How do we communicate this? So let's start with the first two sentences because I, I feel that that's the, that's the beginning and that's the introduction to the whole thing. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all these home improvement shows, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy, they're done in under an hour or they're done in an hour with commercials. So what should we be doing there? What, what's, what's the point of those two sentences? Uh, explain, shots. Explaining what is about to happen, what he's about to explain to you. He's explaining, like pre-explaining his story. He's setting himself up for the story that he's about to tell you. How they got themselves into their predicament. <laughs> Establishing shots. Yeah. Frank. We're yeah. on the same wave today, Frank. This is scary. 
<laughs> so I, I think we can just, I think uh, if I might throw out a, uh, uh, a very cliche term, this is the calm before the storm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. This is, you know, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too. This is, this is the beginning of the self-deprecation. Mm -hmm. This is where they're like, you know, I, I, honestly, it, it looked like it wasn't that going to be, you know, going to be that big of a problem. Yeah, we got this. Come on. No problem. And, and I think that's that sort of like that introduction. Hey, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it. I think that's what they're really trying to say here. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else see anything different or, or, yeah. uh, or does it sound pretty good like that? Like it calm does. before the storm. This doesn't look so bad. Sounds good. Be safe. Cool. So then we move on. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. Uh, yeah, we got the into store. enthusiasm and then we found out, <laughs> yeah, this is not what it looks like on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So the, over our heads a bit. Yeah. So the direction says specifically, though, self-deprecating. So how can we start weaving that in? Like, how can we communicate naturally, I suppose, that, hey, uh, yeah, we, we, were, we were really stupid about this whole thing. So uh, we found mm -hmm. an investment property and it's starting to quickly how not easy it is. I think a extra, a little pause might be. Yeah, I, I think that, I think that, uh, that all capitalized not mm -hmm. is a yeah. little bit misleading. I think that would have been better as italicized. Yeah. And I, I think too, you can, you start off a little slower on that sentence. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. You know, like mm -hmm. sort of speed up a little and go to a downbeat there. Yeah, I think this is the Maybe old bait and along switch. that line. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right there. That sentence is the bait and switch. Mm -hmm. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not is, easy it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you're building it up to be this. Yeah. So I got it. What we thought yeah. was yeah. totally good, actually, uh, yeah. really <laughs> until that point. So we found an investment property, and the listener is thinking, "Okay, cool. So you got an investment property. You fixed it up. Life is good." You did just like they do on Home Improvement. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, you're gonna tell me that it's just like the way it is on TV, just it's like not, everything else. It's like that. It's accurate to real life. Every time they should Except make it. Except that ended up just like Tim <laughs> Allen on Home Improvement instead. <laughs> <laughs> so, so th that that sentence right there, from so we found an investment property to easy it is. Just just that sentence is a bait and switch. Mm -hmm. You build it up to sound good, and then yeah, well yeah, okay, we were stupid about it. Uh, a few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. There's the explanation. That's what happened. That's where you went wrong. Mm -hmm. So now we move on to the end, the last two sentences. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Uh, One I thing I really want to mention here is a lot of the times it didn't feel like an end to the commercial at the end. Mm -hmm. People ended off on up notes or on mid notes, which made it sound like you were going to continue talking. Like, luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Well, th then it's going to have the brand, but I mean, for the most part, the brand is going to be right there. Yeah, you you could do it either way. I personally think, I agree. you can see, you know, luckily they well, took the time to patiently explain that to me too, and then after that, the the bank or whatever it is logo comes in underneath, and they show the guy sitting there talking. Or yes, you could do it the other way. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Like end of well, the story. Yeah, I think that's why, I think that's the right delivery there, specifically because we're going for self-deprecating. Luckily, they took the time to explain that to me too. Oh, I did it that way. Good. Good. So, so you, here's what I mean. When when you end off on a mid or up note, it doesn't sound complete. Luckily, they took the time to explain that to me too. Mid note. Did you did you not Luckily. say you you took a line out? I took out the announcer line. It's a separate line altogether. But is that at the end? It's not part of this character's lines. No, no, not part of the character's lines, but it's not the end of the story. Well, th w this character's lines are the end of this story. The, the, the other one is just wrapping everything up. It's kind of like after, the, after all the images and the uh, yeah. splash screen is displayed, then the announcer comes in. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I just, like I said, I, I think depending on the medium and in this, ter this case being TV, I think, I think you could, it, it would be the producer's 
um, basically how they think about it. But I honestly believe you could do it either way. And it's just a matter of what the producer has in their head. Because again, it's, it's not the end and the fact that there's going to be some logos or something like that come up or whatever. Well, the, the only reason why I would say that I think it sounds better on down notes is because then it makes it seem more like, you know, my bad, you know, luckily they took the time to explain that to me too. You know, it's like, this is still all my fault. I'm putting a lot of pressure on them. <laughs> That's a lot of what we're going for when it comes to yeah. self-deprecating. You want to make yourself seem like yeah. other people. And, and like I said, don't get me wrong. You're, you're absolutely right. You can, <laughs> that, that way works. I'm just saying, I think it could work either way, depending on, on the graphics that are being shown and, and, and everything that's coming up. I'm just saying, but I'm, I'm not saying, you know, no, you're wrong. I'm saying mm -hmm. absolutely they could work that way, but I'm just saying well, it I, could work the other way too. It just kind of depends. Yeah. I, I kind of saw it the same way as Frank, like, um, because there's no uh, like client name or there could be another character speaking or something like that. Um, it's not necessarily super clear. Mm -hmm. I understand yeah. Uh, yeah. Mike kind of what, where you're coming from with the oh, self deprecating I, That makes a lot of sense, but I, from like I agree a, with you, Amber. Yeah. From like a purely script analysis standpoint, I think. Okay. Also, also at the end, um, what they're saying too, when you're, when you're self deprecating at the end, you're kind of leaving it on sort of a negative note. It feels like, Whereas the other way, it sounded more positive. Um, so I don't know if that plays into it. but Yeah, you know, and that's a good point too, Russ. When you finish on an upbeat, yeah. it actually yeah. sounds more positive. Like, mm -hmm. luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. You know, like that's an upbeat as opposed to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was the thing I was kind of debating with on that line. Because when you self-deprecate, it's sort of like, and then, yeah, they patiently explain that to me too. And, but then at, but that sort of makes it sound like, obviously he doesn't feel so great about that. And I don't know that you necessarily want to have the listener feel like that negativity at the end. That's all. Well, I think I we're getting back how. into the self-deprecating at that point in time. I mean, he could even chuckle through the, <laughs> luckily they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. So I'm looking, like, you, know, you know, I screwed up and oh, they helped me so with that one. Oh, oh, look at me. <laughs> so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. I mean, that, that. That is up though. I mean, yeah. that, and I think that's you're, fine. You're, you're self-deprecating with the wrong decision. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, okay. They helped me out again. You know, they, they, they show they showed me the error of my ways. Yeah, right. I kind of like it better with I, a little I, bit of I, up. I, I a, a finishing good. up, not a questioning up. <laughs> yeah. Finishing up, yeah. not a questioning up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's a good yeah, one. You don't want to go. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain mm -hmm. that to me too. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a new uh, quote for 2019 I, finishing up uh, questioning up <laughs> well i, I think that, that's, well, that's, that's why i that. use that's why I, I, I try to differentiate between mid notes and high notes high notes is the questioning up mid uh, notes is yeah. finishing up okay you know down notes is just the absolute finish uh -huh. you know explain uh -huh. that to me too down note explain that to me too mid note explain that to me too up note Okay. Explain that to me too. I don't know. I, I, personally, I, like my 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 delivery was to just carry the self deprecation all the way through it. That's just and, me. and and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Like I said, we're 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 not arguing with you and saying you're wrong. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to explain where, where I'm coming from on this because yeah, totally. I, I don't, I, heck, I'm, I'm not right on all of these things and I love the discussion that we're having here. It's helping me see something a little different too. I just want to explain, you know, just, just a little bit of, of, of my psychotic thought process. But anyway, so... Um, <laughs> subjective. <laughs> so, okay, we, we've got a couple of options for that last line and, and we'll, we'll see how it plays out. We'll just go ahead and you, you can make the decision on how you want to end that off. If it doesn't quite sound right, we'll change it. If it sounds good, congratulations, you're hired. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that this, this second to last line is where a lot of people had the, uh, uh, had a little bit of the, uh, the slip up when it comes to the story, uh, you know, the story communication. So yes, there's a lot of ands and it is one big long, big run on sentence, but I think they did that for a reason. Let you break uh, it up this is, Like this is definitely one of the like the second bait and switch port, like uh, bait and switch point. Yes, because there's the and 
I still made the wrong decision. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because in any normal commercial, this would be, and, you know, I finally got myself back on track. We knocked it out and made billions of dollars from it because this company is amazing. Buy it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is, this is, I think, the second bait and switch in the whole thing. I think there's two of them. Yeah. You know, uh, they just were good pretty quickly how not easy it is. You know, so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. You know, that, that's, that's still part of the self-deprecation that we were going for. There. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think it's, it's overwritten on the front end of it to give you that time to build up the positive and then drop the, well, I dropped the ball. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, like, oh, it's this basically... company's going to be great. Everything's just peachy and, oh, man, they really helped me out. And, yeah, I still screwed up. And it's yeah. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So uh, does anybody else see that differently too, like, you know, compared to the last one? Perfect. Yeah. I I – I agree with you on 100% on that one, the second bait and switch. I didn't, I didn't even think of the first one as a bait and switch. I think I might have read it that way. I didn't think of it that way, but I did think of the second one as a bait and switch. Yeah, this, this is definitely uh, – this, this will throw a curveball at you because generally in these scripts you only see one bait and switch, but this has got two of them. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily end off where you think it's going to end off. Most of these commercials end off on a positive note. This is, well, I still messed up, So, but they were there with me the whole way. That's the implication. Mm -hmm. Though I messed up, they were still there. And mm -hmm. I think that's the yeah. overall, like, major story point mm -hmm. of the entire thing. If you were going to condense the whole of this um, this script down into, like, one simple phrase, it's, though I screwed up, the company was still there with me. Mm -hmm. When they finished laughing at me, they were there to help me again. <laughs> <laughs> and just as, a, just as a point for audition, you know, trying to do something like that, trying to condense the entire storyline, the whole point of what you're trying to say into a bite-sized phrase will always give you something to reference back to. And I think that's one of the harder things to do, actually, with a script is read through the whole thing and be like, where is it? What is it really talking about? Like, oh, what does this really right. mean? You know? Right, right. All right. Yep. So, so we're, we're saying hit the word still then pretty hard. Yeah. I, I, think, I think stressing it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Giving it a little bit of a, yeah, you know, and I still made the wrong, the wrong decision. Yeah. And I still made the wrong decision. Or maybe yeah. you could even carry that out. And I still made the wrong decision. You know, there could be a number of ways to, uh, 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 to communicate it. None of them I, I think would be really wrong, but you, you can make the choice on that yourself and we'll, we'll guide you and direct you if it doesn't sound quite right. Okay. All right. So before we get back into it, any other questions, comments, concerns, emotional outbursts? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, got that out of the way. I don't know if I can take it anymore, man. <laughs> Well, I mean, if there's nothing else, let's go ahead and get back into the reads. So just as a note for this, anybody is welcome to speak. I will go ahead and open up the floor for people to say whatever they'd like to. All feedback is good feedback, even if you're unsure of it. Even if you're unsure of it, go ahead and give it because that could prompt a discussion that we need to have. So just, whatever. Just don't critique yourself. Yes, you cannot. That's the one hard and fast rule. You cannot critique yourself, Dan. Okay. Uh, I um, I um, I'm going to, Dan, Dan I, I would ask you to uh, deep flashbacks send me a little bit of a note and remind me that you did this because um, when I'm editing this, I'm going to be like checking back, checking back, checking back. Is there something wrong with my editor? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the video looking like this? <laughs> okay, so. That was All right. So, Devin, whenever you're ready, yeah. take it away. Well, look, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property in Discover Prick. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. 
quickly, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay, what did everybody think? I think I um, sounded wrong. I found everyone. It's Devin, can yeah. you hear me? Yeah, well, you're low. God, what the hell? Hi, um, can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we could hear you before, but now we can hear you more now. All right. <laughs> I understand. Um, uh, what you read, you said, well, no, this, this isn't wrong. All right. It sounded to me like, oh, that didn't sound like it was read right. But I, that doesn't mean anything. Mike. But you said, so they, wait, where was it? Yeah. We, um, I think you said, so they took the time. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. I, you'd have to read it again for me. I, and I'm, I have a feeling you're going to do it again, too. No, I think you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not making any sense. <laughs> when she said, so they it's took... It's so good to be back. <laughs> when she said, so they took the time to patiently explain her options. Yes. Yes. Who said that? It sounded like so drab, like okay. that was a, that was a yeah. problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it was a problem. Like a... Or no, that, like you didn't care. Yeah. Yeah, like that. yeah, it was sort of annoying that they took so much time to do all this stuff I to help you out. Yeah, kind of a little bit. So I, I think what they're trying to say is you missed no, the second bait and switch. Yes. You, you missed the second bait and switch, the, the build yeah. up to something positive and the ultimate drop to something negative. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. It, it's like you were building up to the failure when with the whole bait and switch idea, you're, you're building up to the success and surprisingly well, dropping the failure onto someone. Yeah. Yeah. So even though, yes, it's supposed to sound really natural, we're still playing with people's emotions. <laughs> like we're, we're still trying to lead them on, but. We're uh, naturally manipulating them. I think, I think that happens a lot with normal communication. Like you want mm -hmm. people to feel stuff about what you say. So sometimes you play it up a little bit. And the other part was like right at the beginning, it sounded like she was setting up for the failure in the entire thing. Like, when, mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we it, it it sounded like you were you were already defeated. Right. I, right at the beginning, I, and that's, like you took a drag from a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say we were overly yeah, optimistic. Going to say something. Right. Like and yeah. you, have some? you don't want this in film yeah. noir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that would be an interesting take but I, I think when it comes to, to playing up a little bit more of the humor like I, I think the setting for something like this would be a, a friend talking to another friend over drinks or something like that just having a good time be like oh yeah you have to you, you gotta listen to this I, I really screwed up here check this out this is funny mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a I think that that's more of the approach that they were going for on this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think you got the self-deprecating, but not with a yeah, sense of humor, yeah. is what it felt like to me. And the other thing that struck out to me is something that actually I thought of doing, but then thought it didn't seem right, and I'm not sure where, which way it was, but uh, other people will pipe up. Um, you said, luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. <clears throat> the stress on the patiently seemed odd to me yeah I, I think that it, that was definitely out of place i think the uh the the emphasis in there the the word that needs to be emphasized is that uh, luckily they took the time to patiently explain that to me too you know they the that that they're referring to is the fact that i messed up yeah especially since patiently is there in there twice in the sentence before too that's kind of when I feel like you're stressing their service and it's like they patiently explain our options and then yeah next one is like and luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. The wrong decision. All right, so we threw a lot of stuff at you. Why don't you go ahead and give us another read? <laughs> oh, poor Devin. Think about all that, then throw it out and do your read. <laughs> Nothing right. like having 10 directors. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. 
and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. That was that was much much better. Much better. Yeah, much, yeah, much better. Yeah, oh, you definitely wow. had that. Uh, you you definitely had the the right sense of like the the right setting to your read this time. It yeah. felt like you were actually talking to somebody. Be like, oh, check out this mistake I made. This is hilarious. You know, it, it really did feel like that, and that changed your entire read. Like yeah. that was that was spot on right yeah, there. That was good. Yeah. Came out mm -hmm. a little fast. Fantastic. Game, but it, but the 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 way you read it, it was spot on like he said yeah. but it again like i said it just came out just a little bit fast to me well um, if it was uh and conversational know, floridian that yeah, sounded just about right <laughs> 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 have, i know that both speak quite quickly and that's that's what i was saying is like it came out a little and and that's probably because it was at my rate you know <laughs> it's like oh i can actually oh this doesn't feel like it's plotting along it must be slow yeah, yeah. <laughs> it must be too fast oh, i yeah. was reading it as a true orlando light well to some extent i i can see what you're what you mean by that um i, I think it just added to the conversational aspect of mm -hmm. it personally that's exactly like, what i was gonna say yeah yeah, you know, I, I can see maybe in a different read. Yeah, I would say slow it down. But I think for this one, that was that was really where you needed to be because it yeah. felt natural. It really did well, feel like I was my listening. My natural yeah. pace. You know, that's good. <laughs> that's <laughs> good. Right. Just when say, they say it, natural, that's my actual natural. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. When you feel natural, the read feels natural, and that felt it felt really natural. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a little bit quick. I don't know. That would be up to the director. If I was the director, I would say cut and print. That was where you needed to be. That was perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. You know, the golf club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> well, or the yeah. coveted words that you want to hear, you're hired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was fun for her. Drop the <laughs> All righty then. So who was up next? Andrew. Yep. Andrew, you're up. And I don't want to say that we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for, so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. All right. What did everybody think? Way into me. It's fine. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to say it. There, I mean, it, it, it was fine, but I think it was maybe missing some inflections. It just kind of went... A little monotone. Yeah, it yeah. felt a little bit like a narration. That for some okay. reason it just felt like a narration, you know. Yeah, that's that's. I think it was a little bit fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was slower than that was slower than Devin's. Um. <laughs> Actually, I, I think if I may, I think the pace was a little too measured. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it was a little too regular. Like, I, I didn't feel any points where you stopped and thought about things yep. a little bit or, you know, you allowed the words to sort of play off of each other. But um, yeah, to me, it sounded a little bit too measured. That, that's, that's the funny thing is it seems like these kinds of scripts are written a little bit more for women because they're naturally more expressive when they speak. You know, as men, we just want to get to the point and get over with it. Yep. We don't want to talk to you. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't want to spend any more time than I need to with somebody else. By anyway, way, um, I, to, I told you I messed up. <laughs> so I, I think, I think for, a, for, for a male actor with something like this, it is going to take a little bit more of, uh, you know, hamming it up just a touch. Not, not, not a whole lot. Yeah. Like you don't, you want to stay mostly where you're, where you're, no, where you, yeah. this is why I'm a voice actor. Somebody else needs to write my words for me. <laughs> This is where, you, you know, you need to turn the expression uh, like maybe one or two clicks up from where people, from where you normally would read. If, but, if, uh, if, 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 if you're, like you said, uh, Michael, about like a, a woman, a woman reading this, I could see it's like one woman talking to one woman. Mm -hmm. If it's a guy reading this, I picture like a bunch of guys sitting around a sports bar or something. You know, that's a good setting for it. Exchanging war stories with their buddies or whatever. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and a picture with the beers on the table and that is like, listen, guys, you know what? That kind of a thing. He's telling that's, his funny story. 
Yeah. That's the setting yeah. for it. Can you put and yourself in that setting? Can you can you imagine that? For sure. All right, go for <laughs> it. Give us another read. Okay. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for, so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. There we go. Yeah, was, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that was much better. I think it was just the, the yeah. change of your mental setting is what really yeah. put you right on track. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's nice, For Harry. Sure. Now deal the cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, how, how did that feel to you? How, how, did, how did the change of, of setting sort of feel to you? That felt a little more like I wasn't paying attention to the script so much and was kind of out of that and like looser. I felt looser when I was going through the and, read and, and yes. more, more natural. It's perfect. That was specifically where you needed to be and you hit it just right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah no problem. Good job. Oh, great, great job, Jason. Job. Gets, Andrew gets golf claps. <laughs> Don't drop that mic. <laughs> <laughs> we would say drop the mic, but don't do that. Those are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Swing the, drop the mic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Frank is next. Me is next. No, listen, guys. I don't want to say we were over. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, I mean, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. I mean, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and quickly, pretty discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. I mean, a few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons. And well, <laughs> I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. All right. What did everybody think of that? Very energetic. <laughs> yeah. I'm filled with beer. <laughs> uh oh, Dan, your stick is being is being encroached on. <laughs> no, I meant yes. like because I'm at a bar yeah. talking to them. <laughs> it kind of sounded to me like. Keep in mind, Jen, and I'm always very complimentary about you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, so that card is getting pulled now, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Hit me with I your best it. shot. No, and, I, and I adore you, Frank. I know I do. <laughs> but it sounded like it needs a second read is all it sounds like. Oh, okay. You, you know, it's, it was too Because like... I made so many mistakes. No, you just were so like excited about reading. I think well, I guarantee when you do the second read, it'll find it'll sound fine. Okay. Yeah, you were uh, you coming across a little bit tense. You needed mm -hmm. maybe relax a little bit more with it, and I think you were trying to read faster than you were keeping up with finding the words. <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually in, in real life I do tend to talk quite fast, so mm -hmm. I'm a fast talker. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> no, guys, listen, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. I mean, a few things came up we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And, you know, well, you know, I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. That was better. Much better. Yeah. Better? I couldn't have tell you, told you what was wrong with the first read, but that one did sound a lot better. <laughs> yeah, well, just <laughs> sounded more comfortable with the copy and stuff, but the tone in both was, was good. Yeah, that's so, what it yeah, was. He was. I, I think what it was as well was uh, much like what Andrew's first read was like. It was, though it was somewhat energetic, it was still a little too measured. This one was a little bit more broken up. You took the time to think about words. You took the time to slow down in a few places. And that added a little bit more of a natural feel to it, which is yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And if you, if you notice, the first take I did, I finished on an up note. On this one, I finished on a down note. Just to give you both options, Michael. 
It did well, sound your, good. everybody really enjoyed your second read a lot better, so... <laughs> I guess you were correct. <laughs> I've earned myself an apple. Yes, you have. <laughs> if Michael's correct, didn't Michael get... Well, if, if Michael wants, like wants to drive all the way to Winnipeg for a tiny little gala apple, he's more than happy to I'm do so. I'm on the road right now. <laughs> Ten inches of snow <laughs> last night, by the way. <laughs> Oh, oh, Lordy. A and free apple for a little drive? I can't pass that up. Ten inches of snow last night, too. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that sounds like fun. Here last night. You know what? 45 minutes with a snowblower and two driveways were done, baby. It was easy. We have okay. a bad winter this year. So, who was up next? Dan. Dan. Okay. Who's doing, it, who's doing his best Bono impression there with the sunglasses on? I want to make sure my <laughs> Is it you guys can hear me okay? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. All right. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to exp Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Oh, all right. What did everybody think? Way subdued. I, I, and it was kind of... Uh, we had this problem. Oh, they fixed it. <laughs> oh, all right. I just thought it was just a little subdued. <laughs> I like I liked it at the very very beginning, and but I I, I was kind of hoping it would pick up a little more, you know, like it, and it just stayed at that same very even sort of tone all the way through. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a lot of inflection or difference in tone as you went along. Yeah, I think that's what made it sound so sub subdued. Is again, it was just on the verge of being monotone not quite but awful close yeah. to it like a dan read oh yeah <laughs> you're going to i would be say banned if you don't stop dan <laughs> all right i would say just use your natural texan accent in there i was now <laughs> it sounded like you actually flattened it out a little bit uh just a little bit Hey, that I was not you, your natural you, Texas accent. You, you, you've been trained. You've been training yourself very well, and you flattened it out actually, just just a little bit. So, thank you. <clears throat> right, so. <laughs> you want me to just go then? Huh? Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. <clears throat> I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And guess what? I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Much improved. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That was it. Yeah, you see, you did what I had done with the uh, thirteen-year-old to nine-year-old, whenever it was here last yeah, year. Yeah, just changed. Yeah, yeah, because because I had, I I had trained myself so well to talk like a little kid that I had to age it up just a little bit, and you have done the same thing with your dialect. <laughs> so, no, that sounded well, so much better, Dan. That that had inflections in it. You did have I talk know. on options. But other than that, I liked it. On options? Did I yeah. you did our on? options? Like a 14-year-old so girl doing up talk? I did that on purpose. Uh, Just on the uh, one word. I mean, it's the rest is time to patiently explain our options. Yeah. And the pros and cons So they took the time to patiently explain our options. Like options? Oh, my God. Options? <laughs> so they took the time to patiently explain our options. Like that is actually there. Yeah. That's better. Than you, you were more like, like Devin said, you were patiently options. explain our options. <laughs> so they took the time to patiently explain our options. And, and then I saw her at the mall the following weekend with uh, Johnny, and I was not impressed. I could just totally love you. 
<laughs> Frank, you're just so sweet. I just, I just can't help it. And then I went to Potato <laughs> City and I bought a big one with a lot of sour cream and I threw it in her face. <laughs> oh, darling. All right. So, any other, any other critiques? Or should I try this with a new accent? <laughs> I, I I think sometimes it, uh, there were was a little bit uh, like too much pausing maybe in between. It kind of got like for me, it kind of in not interrupted the flow, but just felt like uh, w wasn't as conversational. But I think like the um, the second read when you kind of let loose on the accent that made it a lot better. Yeah, and actually, like, uh, in this case, I have to disagree with Andrew. I thought there could have been a little bit more pausing. I mean, like Michael had said. Um, where you stop normally when you're when you're talking and you kind of every now and then will stop and think about you know what you're going to say next without throwing in uh or something like that and it just it flowed all the way through but i would have liked to have and and it sounded great but i would have liked to have even heard a few little pauses here and they're just like you you're telling a story right but you're thinking about okay now what am i going to say next what's the you're you're thinking about the next line to come out as opposed to just going all the way through it without pauses between anything. I think there were pauses, but they may not have been quite in the right place where the thought process was taking place. It's like they were just randomly there. It seemed or, or, or maybe that was it, Russ, but it just seemed to me like yeah. it was just sentence after sentence after sentence after sentence, and they were done well, but I think they could have sounded even better if there were some pauses here and there where, like I said, it was more conversationally natural where you stop and think about what you're going to say next. You got to give me at the very beginning the, uh, but you know, that's a perfect point to give yourself a little bit of time. But you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too. And they all make it look so easy. Yeah. A lot of the times it's those connecting portions that are the best place to, to, to give yourself the pause and, and, and the, 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 the time to process what it is you're going to say. Starting um, a sentence with and or so. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's three of those. So. <laughs> or finishing off with so. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, why don't you go ahead and give it another go? Give it another uh, go. Another neutral week. or natural? Neutral. Neutral? <laughs> neutral. Oh. <okay. laughs> no, however, how, wh whatever's more comfortable for you. That, that's, that's, I think, going to be the, the, the biggest key factor is whatever you're most comfortable doing. Yeah. Comfortable. Huh. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home and pro. Ugh. I'm going to start all the way over. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Boom. Wow. That was it. There yeah. you go. Master That's the take. Great. That I didn't was it. Like it at all. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't that? like it at all? I did. That's that's one you go like. back and listen to it once once that'll uh, be the one they'll on. use all right <laughs> you go back and listen to it and then you'll see you will like it yeah i was gonna say then, then that's perfect if you didn't like it whatsoever that's probably the one they love <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> nine times out of ten that's what happens the one you hate yep. is the one they choose every time <laughs> we'll I let you know it like wasn't the day in read so <laughs> that's okay. the one that gets used seven days a week <laughs> Every week for the next every 10 time years. You go back to that, every time you go back to that commercial, you're going you're gonna to keep asking, why in the world did they choose that? Right, right. I, I've done that with promo spots. It's like, it's on every day. And I get to hear it. I dropped energy right there. I know I did. <laughs> But here's the thing, again, because so much of voiceover is, is so subjective, you can have one buyer that loves one thing and another buyer that absolutely hates that thing and wants yeah. you to go in the exact opposite direction. Yeah. This is why you can't really 
judge yourself when you're behind the microphone oh, yeah, because yeah. you're not the one buying your own voice. I would not say that yeah. in the studio, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Direct session. <laughs> no, nope, that would never. Yeah, yeah never. things never to say in a directed session. Why? Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Definitely don't don't say sorry no, unless no. I don't know if that's if that's acceptable in a. It, okay, I'm not even gonna go there. Um, <laughs> and um, let's see. The audio guy sucks. <laughs> try not to disagree with what they say, and don't judge yourself. Yeah. Those yeah. are those are important things never to do in a session. Anyway, you landed it. Who's up next? You guys have actually helped me out a lot with that, by the way, not judging myself in, per in session because I did it a lot. <laughs> I do it every day. And I just, damn, damn, damn. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you, you should probably put that up in your, um, in, in your booth, like right next to wherever it is you read. You remember the Dan rule. <laughs> I remember you the Dan rule. You do not judge yourself when you are behind the microphone. You are the performer. Until I get to the audio, then that's when I can judge myself. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. When yeah. you are in the booth, when the microphone is in front of you, the button, you know, you, you hit the record button and you're recording, you are the performer. You worry about doing the performance. Yeah. When you step out of the booth and you're looking at the waveform and you're playing it back and you're listening to it, then you are the director and you yeah. critique. Yeah. And then you're going, oh, God, the mouth clicks. Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nathan, you're up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, easy way to fix that? Green, uh, green apples. I can't chew apples. Yeah. Green apples don't work for me. Dang. Well. Coconut oil. It's worked for me. A lot of water. Hey, yeah, guys. Just stay hydrated. Liquor. Yeah, when I say hydrated, it works. Anyway. You know, Nathan, you're up. You know, guys, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they make all, they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easily it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Okay. What did you all think of that, Reed? How not, not easily it is. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> yeah that, that's one thing you said easily instead of easy. Yeah, and, it, and it's it sounded just a little, a little bit dramatic. Yeah, not a, little, a lot. Okay, but, a little you know, over, a little bit too much. Yeah. Uh oh, little, somebody shouted bit. Shatner, didn't they? <laughs> um, I don't the last, want to say we were overly optimistic. <laughs> on the whole, last paragraph for the second. Um, uh, uh oh, kind of just froze. Oh no! No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He maybe froze for you, but not for the rest of us. Oh, yeah, it was I'm on good. my end. Try, uh, try, try being more conver a little bit more conversational. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah I, th I think this is it. the first time that we've ever had to give the direction, bring it down. <laughs> okay. Uh, bring it down. But the, that, uh, that second um, change of things where, so they took the time to patiently explain our options, the pros and cons, and I still made, it was all, it just all went together. It, there wasn't okay. that... And I still screwed up. Okay. Uh, yeah, you were definitely overacting and totally talking like. <laughs> yeah. You know, guys, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. We found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay. What did everybody think of that one? That was better. 
It sounded really good in the beginning. It seemed like the last couple lines of overacting kicked hmm. in again. Yeah, I kind yep. of agree with that. With yep. the, um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the It started at the few things that came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. That that doesn't sound right. It doesn't <clears throat> sound natural. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. Yeah, that no. line, that, that sentence altogether is actually a little bit more of an aside. You're sort of okay. explaining why it was not okay. easy. Um, really quickly how not uh, easy it is. And you know, that's, that's a pretty much where you started your overacting. <laughs> okay. Again, for the second so half of it, yeah. Also, you right. missed a so in so we found an investment property. You just went to we found an investment property. I did, didn't I? So, don't forget so. I let my note get in the way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> a needle pulling thread. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. Hang on a second. <clears throat> hey guys, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they make it all they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay. What did you all think of that read? Much better. There yeah, you go. That was a lot better. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you, you accent, you, uh, good grief. What's the word again? I always want to say punched. Thank uh, <laughs> Emphasize. Emphasized. Mike, you know what? Yeah, that's the word. Emphasize patiently both times again. Um, on the last two sentences. Can you start from, so they took the time? Yeah. <clears throat> So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Yeah, you did it again. You see. Okay, yeah, and that, and that second yeah. one, um, the emphasis should be on that. Luckily, they took okay. the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay. You know, the that that they're referring to is that you made the wrong decision. <laughs> okay. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took time to patiently explain that to me, too. There you go. That was better. There you go. That was better. Definitely portrayed the story a little bit better. Thank you mu very much for the fine-tuning. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> it was, That's all it is, just a few tweaks here or there. Yeah. It was just... Sticking out to me every right time there. you read it, you did it all the time, and I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say it this time. Well, Dan, Dan, you're not performing. You can say it now. You can do it. <laughs> I thought it was the overacting, and then it, it was just that yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, you made it. Congratulations. Yay! So who's next? Me. Moi. Okay, you go. <laughs> oh, we keep on having you read. <laughs> Hey, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So, we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. <laughs> Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Okay, what did everybody think? I like the emphasis on our and with, because that's what I thought, too, because they're saying with commercials, like they're, you know, I like that. Yeah, I like, like the tone and the pacing. I think the one thing for me was the second bait and switch. Um, the first part of it still sounded like it was a, like a, a labor or something, not like not a positive connotation. It was like, so they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. Uh, but that was, that was the only thing I, I could think of. I don't 
that was a really yeah. good read. The only, the only nitpicky thing I can say is that you just you dropped a word by accident. That's all. <gasps> Which one did I skip? Where it says a few things came up that we hadn't planned. You didn't say that. Ah. Uh, but. Yeah. That's, well, that's a, that's a famous thing. I skip and leave words out all the time. So why don't you go ahead and for the next read, since I felt the rest of it was done really good as well. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just take it from a few things came up to the end? Okay. All right. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain. I still made the wrong decision. <laughs> Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. All right. What did everybody think of that ending? Enjoyed it. I, I like yeah, that laugh. I, I like that. I like how you laugh. It's not really <laughs> yeah. a nervous laugh, actually. To me, but right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the, unfortunately, you'll, you'll oftentimes be asked to, to take out the laughs and whatnot, right. because more often than not, uh, it on a recording, it sounds more nervous than it does self-deprecating. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a self-deprecating. I know that <laughs> when I've screwed up, that's what I do, is laugh at myself and go, seriously, um, okay. why? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> so, anything else? Did I get all the words that time, Frank? Because I'm famous for leaving them out. Nope, you got them all. Yay. And boy, <laughs> I was scrutinizing, let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah, he was All like right, right up did. along. Okay, okay. I heard that one. I heard that one. I'm oh, going down here with my finger, just doing the bouncy ball thing. Right <laughs> yeah. Pass the Frank test. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, hey, yeah, you passed the Frank test. You also passed the Richard test by not being muted this time. <laughs> so we were all able to enjoy your awesome read. All right, who's up next? Yes. Russ. Okay. Russ, ready. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. All right. What did everybody think of that read? Um, it, sounded, it sounded just like that, a read. Yeah. Are you from, are you from uh, where yeah. Richard's from, <clears throat> Russ? I don't know where that is. <laughs> I'm in Idaho. Where are you at? In Idaho. Huh? Texas. You're oh. in Texas. Wow. You're in Dallas. Dallas. <laughs> you reminded me of Richard somehow. <laughs> Okay. In Dallas, Houston, right? I mean, that's whatever. I'm just Dallas saying. area. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if it didn't sound like a Texas accent, I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have an Idaho twang, so you probably eliminated most except for the few little Justin gets. It it sounded like a read. It sounded like you were just reading it. Um, mm -hmm. and it and it came across defeatist. Like the entire thing, it sounded like you were like the defeatist attitude all the way through the, the script to me. That was a very um, Debbie Downer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. It was like it was so what, almost like one of those old '90s like investigative TV reports where the person who's talking is all darkened out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like a bad bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can, I can, so I could, um, I, I can see where that's coming from. I actually felt, I, I, I kind of disagree. I felt overall that it was. I mean, I, I feel it could have used a little bit more self-deprecation and a little bit more building up the jokes and playing on them just a touch more. But I think all in all, it felt pretty natural. Um, particularly, Russ, uh, you, you're really good at following along the story of the script and making it all flow together really well. And I thought that, again, came out very clearly here. It was very easy to tell what led to what and what was going, you know, and, and how you were leading from one thing to the next. So you did that all really well. Um, I don't think you really allowed yourself the time to sort of stop and think about things, maybe at the beginning of sentences or when you had some of the, 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 the breaks that you could have used that at, like quickly how not easy it is. You know, you, you, could have, you could have taken a few more breaks here or there to sort of add to the whole self-deprecation feel that we're going for. But um, I would agree that lightening it up just a little bit, again, being in that, uh, that situation of talking with friends, of just being sort of relaxed and be like, hey, check out this screw up that I made. 
would be would go a long way towards setting that tone and just where it needs to be. Okay. So you're ready? Is that what you're saying? We're ready. Let's hear another okay. read. Wow. Let's I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty, pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up and we had a few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay. Much better. What did you all think of that read? Much that better. better. Much better. better. More relaxed, more conversational sounding. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely hear the turns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So The second we, one was we, a little we, more I subtle. Hope this, I hope this, this doesn't sound too weird, but I, I almost felt like I was talking to you in your own living room. Cool. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's the kind of feel that you had. And that, that's, that's awesome. Spot on. Michael, that sounds weird. Right? <laughs> but you not like it. I felt like I was in your house, Russ. That's right. <laughs> no, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me and the axe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zoinks. Don't mind me and the axe. Really? Yes, yes, I do keep an axe in here. I do. It's foam, but I still keep so an axe. So it wasn't an accident? <laughs> no, it wasn't an accident. Ah, <laughs> um, <laughs> dumb Michael, puns and jokes an aside. That was really good, Russ. Yeah, that was most that was enjoyable. That second read of yours was really good. Thank you. How come we can't see you, Russ? I got a new computer and there's no camera on it and I have no idea why. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. How could they sell a camera today with a camera? I don't know. Laptop with no camera? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Shut down the CIA uh, where they start. <laughs> this is yeah. your government. Somebody knows his laptop. Yeah, that one. <laughs> All right. So who's up next? You are? Uh, me. <laughs> That's right. Me. <laughs> All right. All right. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy, they're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Uh, luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything. I was trying not to look, and I was listening. And Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> next, 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 next. I think Mike in character. Um, <laughs> I think that's the part where you say, and of course, it looks easy. They're done and within an hour with commercials. You didn't really take the time to like feel that line because there's a lot there of emotion that can come in. Okay. You know, because it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. You know, you just kind of grazed over it. It seemed like. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with. No, he did. He, well. Okay. I mean, I can slow down on it a little bit and, and emphasize that a bit more. Yeah, okay. It ran on just a little bit there, but yeah. I, I agree with Russ. Just just a hair. It wasn't. You didn't have the thought processes yeah. in. Well, of course, I, it was. as as everybody's been reading through this and that, you know, I think if I was the one who wrote this, that that last part there where it says, "So they took the time, et cetera, et cetera," I would actually end the sentence after each, and then start it, get rid of the and, and go. I still made the wrong decision, but luckily they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Yeah, I kind of felt for that second bait and switch. I get what you're saying, uh, Frank, because I think it's like a the the second part, the and I still made the wrong decision. It felt like a little rushed. It could use like a, a little bit more of a, a pause or like a little bit more for impact or something. It's, it felt like, I, and I still made the wrong decision. I yeah, believe, ex exactly. You know, like you say, they took the time to patiently explain our options and pros and cons of each. You know, like do this sort of as a matter of factly thing. 
and then start a new sentence. And I still made the wrong decision. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm I a was, loser. <laughs> I was, well, right, because there'd be a little shame before that, before that thought process. It's like, I really don't want to admit this. And but yeah. we just kind of rush into it because it's all there as one sentence. Yeah. Like the savant that I am, I constantly screwing things up. <laughs> so I don't know. It's it's just I'm not saying we change the script or anything like that. I'm just just making that observation since we have time to kill because Michael just nailed that read in one take. <laughs> well, apparently, there's a little bit more I could do with it. So I mean, I could go for a second one and try to add in some more of that. Go for it. Um, yeah. When you for that sentence that we were just talking about, the options of pros and cons of each. And then you <sighs> dropped into, and I still made the wrong decision. What if you, like, and the pros and cons of each, and I still, that, and, you know, like, like you're getting ready to explode with something awesome, and then, boom, drop it. You could do it like that, too. Yeah. And the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Okay. Well, I'll, 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 I'll change it up a little bit. I'll see what I can do to change it. Because you, your read was perfect, so I was just like, yeah. okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, All right, I'll try to change it up a little bit. It was perfect, right. except for just, these. Just change it up for the sake of changing it. Give us a, a second read. <laughs> okay. It was great, but just for, give us another read. Okay. Give us a second read in a, in a Canadian accent. <laughs> I don't want to offend Canadians out there. I'm just going to. No, no, no. And you're not going to offend anybody because I'm a Canadian and I'm asking for it. So it's quite all. <laughs> um, He's trying to think of a Canadian accent. Yeah. Now that you put me on the spot, I can't do a Canadian accent. <laughs> Have you ever watched SCTV, Michael? Uh, I'm Maybe. actually trying to trying to model mine a little bit more off of Frank, and yeah. for whatever reason, I'm just blanking right now. Also, I'm getting a phone call, which is very distracting. Why did you turn do I do I do you guys honestly yeah. think I have a really strong Canadian no. accent? No, 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 no. no. And that, that's the thing. I think I think no. that that's why I would want to model mine off of yours because yeah. it, I think it's more natural. It's, it's, no. it's like the the, ac the accent most people think of when they think Canadian, they think actually of Newfies, like people from Newfoundland. Yeah, that or, they, I, I don't want to say they were overly optimistic there, eh? but you know, like we watch yeah. all them their home women shows too, boy. And you know what? They all make it look so freaking easy, eh? <laughs> Doug and Bob McKenzie. Yes, exactly. Republic of Doyle is what Frank's talking about. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to just try it. I'm just going to try making the, the few changes. And, yeah, um, no, I'm just joking. Go ahead. All right. Well, you know, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, that, nice. Yeah, you were. Was... So again, I stand by my statement. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's up next? I thought that was better than the I first one. Am I, was... I going to be a bitch here? Am I, I think I'm going to be a bitch. Go for it. Go for it. Go for uh, it. My... Do it. It's. <laughs> All almost, right, uh, Nathan, just a note, an hour and 46 minutes in. It almost, <laughs> a note. It almost okay. sounded like you were um, overacting, but that's me. That's, that's what I heard. You heard a little Any, bit of overacting? Did anybody hear okay. that? Sometimes you have a tendency, it sounds like you do a whisper thing. It's hard to explain okay. where it's... Okay. Okay. Well, I generally that, that's because everything he does is in zone one. Yeah, I generally tend to default towards zone one, and I think that's where that's coming from. Yes, I, I could I could try to fully stay in zone two. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, because uh, Michael tend to, has a tendency, and this isn't it's just it's your 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 whatever. But everything he does comes out sometimes sounding like Game of Thrones level. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. Uh, 
I was just watching Vikings last night, and they do the same where they whisper everything. Yeah, like, you know. Here you speak mm-hmm. up. You took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. In a lot of reading, so. I don't want to say we yeah. were overly optimistic. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a regular thing for all shows. I mean, look at Walking Dead. I mean, it well, seems all like those all those drama type shows like that, <laughs> you know, Supernatural or whatever. There was type. a Canadian there. <laughs> I discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. <laughs> right. Okay. I can do it like fully, fully dramatic. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic. <laughs> you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. Now, um, film noir. <laughs> I'm I'm sure like I was whispering it a little bit more so than I should have. <laughs> I can back off. I can back off. Not a problem. I thought where you say, so they took the town to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. It, it's like sounds ho-hum. So they took the town to patiently explain our options, you know. Okay. It, it seems like that's an upbeat part, like, hey, these people did this for me, you know, and it just sounds like, oh, yeah, they took the town to explain the options okay. to me. Yeah. Sorry I'll about the barking in the background. Um, all right. I will make it, I'll, I'll, I'll try to make that sound a little less ho-hum and try to bring down the overacting and stay in zone two. Good luck. Hey, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those. Hey, I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Uh, luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. Golf okay. clap. There you go. <laughs> Mic drop. Crawl these. Yeah, Again, man. let's Don't not do me. that. Those are expensive. <laughs> 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 All and right, so who's next? who is up next? Goldie. Me. Goldie. <coughs> As my frog finds my throat. <clears> throat> I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch those home improvement shows, too, and they make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned or uh, a few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me. Can I just do that? <laughs> just, just get through the line. Just, just get through the line. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay, now go ahead. Just let's go for a second read. Just okay, go in. The way you're feeling right now, after yeah. after doing that that for a couple of times like that, do it, do it, do it. I don't want to say that we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch those home improvement shows too, and they make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and the cons of each and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Okay. What did everybody think of that one? Loved it. The only thing I would say is a little more of a pause when you're going into that. So we found an investment property and discovered it's just a little too delivered too quickly. Okay. I, think, I, I honestly think it should be more of a pause. Like, so we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. You know, like you're still like trying to be positive about it. And then all of a sudden you kind of let the cat out of the bag. Oh, everything screwed up. on it. So you missed the same word twice. She okay. said, we watched those home improvement shows and they make it look so easy. They didn't, she missed the all both times. Yeah. Okay. That was the only, that was my only nitpick. 
But that would be the only suggestion I have is just uh, all those. Yeah, there we like, go. Like, like you're kind of thinking about what you're going to say mm -hmm. next again. Yeah. Okay. And that, when, when you're not doing the making it sound like or thinking about it, then mm -hmm. it just blows on through. Okay. So that would give you your pauses on, well, okay. Okay. I think the, the with uh, commercials, again, you know, it's done in an hour with commercials. You know, so like done, an hour with commercials. It's done in an hour with commercials. Kind yeah. Of? Yeah. Okay. So from there. okay. I don't want to say that we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they make it all, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each, and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. Okay, what did everybody think of that one? Much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. you're, you're, still, you're still just blowing right through that, that whole line, though. So we but found it, yeah, yeah, I noticed that, too. There, 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 was, there was no <coughs> natural feel to it. It was okay. just... Okay, we're going to find the investment property better. So maybe after, just a comma after the so. Yeah. yeah. Like a comma or like dot, dot, dot or something okay. like that. Sounds good. <clears throat> I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they make it, they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each and I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. Very nice. There you go. You had it sounded like you were thinking about it and letting somebody know about what's going on. Yeah, we watch all those shows. So we found an investment property, and you think, okay, well, the, the, how would how'd it go for you? Oh, it didn't. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, you know, you know what else you you did in that? As nobody else, I don't think, did at all. That one line there where he says. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. And the way you do it is, and of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. Like, you know, it's like not only is it done in an hour, but it's done in an hour with commercials. You know, the way you came out with it like that, I just thought that was, I thought yeah. that was really good like that. Cool. Did you do that, Richard? Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, I did that. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't didn't pick up on that that's okay you were too busy making sure i didn't miss words it's okay <laughs> on my first read. <laughs> I did on my first i'm read. really worried about it can you tell you know like no, i did it too so i was i was it bill okay <laughs> so that does that mean we're ready for janet in it yes. oh already okay yeah. yes <clears throat> let's see okay I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, sorry, start again. I don't want to say that we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in a, and of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. <laughs> Dan, it, uh, it, it, how bad was it? No, it wasn't terrible. No, it was. Uh, it oh. was just kind of matter-of-factly 
read. Mm. Well, we did this. Mm. Yeah, it was right. matter, yeah. Matter, All right. matter, of, matter of fact, we read. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, the knot has quotes around it. <laughs> All right. Per Michael. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll try it again. And you're just, you know, and again, you're just... Um, you're not making it sound conversational in the fact that you're not taking little pauses here and there and okay. Um, All right. Sorry. Here we go. I don't want to say I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know, we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. And of course it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me too. That was better. Yeah, it much was. better, much better. I have a hard time with this kind of read. I do. I mean, I just do seniors all day yeah. long. I do grandmas. <laughs> well, well, this is a but I, but I do a grandma it. doing it. Just, I get just work. Do a, just do a grandma doing it. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you know, just last fling. And I just always listen. sound so serious, you know. I well, always don't, sound so don't serious. sound serious. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm trying not to, but sound yeah, like you're on your second glass of wine. Just picture my character, Miss Margie, doing it. I don't want to say we were too. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they make all it all looks so easy. Of course, <laughs> it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. Exactly. So. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> I did. That was Nate. That was, Nate. That, that, that was my <laughs> Miss Margie character. <laughs> that was good. That was not bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been taking mental notes because I, I bought my wife um, the nanny for Christmas, that, that series. And um, uh -oh. um, all I that Fran Drescher stuff has just been building up my, my, my character development because I, every time I've listened to that, it's like I can pull from oh, that, I adjust a little bit. <laughs> I just cannot stand that woman's voice. But oh, got, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh. It's just wonderful, oh. isn't it? A show oh, once in a while. But to binge watch that, oh, my Lord, I am done. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in a padded room. Oh. Well, there's there's so much Yiddish reference in there and stuff like that. It's just like, I'm like, Okay, I'm just gonna. Hey, oh my God, I can't believe you're really talking about Fran Drescher. <laughs> she's great. She's, she's so think of a Janet like you're out for lunch with with one of your girlfriends. I mean, have you got a really good girlfriend you go out for and have a salad and a wine a couple times a week or maybe a couple times a month? I should say. I complain about your significant other. With. Yeah, complain about your husband and uh, all the rest, et cetera, et cetera, and how the kids never call and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, thank God, my call. Okay. Think of it like 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 that, you know. All right. Oh, I just heard you're Canadian. Think yeah, there's like few, that, you know. I, you know. That's, yeah, he has a few uh, vowels that are pretty broad. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretending I'm talking to my friend. I don't want to say we were overly optimistic. But, you know, we watch all those home improvement shows, too, and they make it look so easy. And they all make it look so easy. And, of course, it looks easy. They're done in an hour with commercials. So we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. A few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. I'm off tonight. I thought that sounded pretty good. It yeah. Did. I, I, I thought it sounded it. Yeah, more, more like relaxed than more yeah. into the... Yeah, it was way more relaxed, way more... 
It was definitely conversational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I guess congratulations. I'm sorry I missed it. I missed your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, huh, lay into her. Something. She did it to you. What's that? <laughs> lay into her. She did it to you. <laughs> I don't mean to be. I. Oh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no, fun. That's so no, that's no, the no, whole no, point no, of this. Yeah, that's, that's the point. Doing. That's the point. That's what we're doing I, here. I, I, I'm still not hearing conversational. I, I'm still I'm still hearing reading it. It's just you're just going through the sentences. It's not conversational at all. Let's let's have some fun with it, Janet. You got time? Damn it! Oh, my! Yeah. It's eight o'clock already. Never mind. It's eight o'clock already. Oh, so. all right. I don't want I don't want to keep people. All right, no problem. Sorry. Yeah, it was still just a bit subdued. I mean, it was conversational, but it was really subdued. It was like, yeah, we had a problem, and we bought some stuff, and it didn't go well. Now they helped us out. <laughs> oh, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's that a little bit talk. like someone's forcing you against your will to do this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in the booth with a gun to your head or something. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, no, no, I don't want to talk about it. No, really, you need to. No, I don't. All right, I'll tell you about it. It was like this. We did that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shannon, tell me about your day with this investment thing, okay? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't want to say we were we were overly optimistic, you know. Oh my God! Exactly. Go for it, go for it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That was that was, that was the idea. Way better. Keep going. Go the I was going to have. I was going to have. I can't, have I can't remember what did I do. I didn't want to say we were overly optimistic, but you know we watch all those home improvement shows too, and they all make it look so easy. Don't and they? They always make it look easy. <laughs> there you go. That's better. That's way better. Keep on going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <gasps> They're done in an hour with commercials. I know. I so, can't understand how they get all that done in that short of time. So, so what'd you do? Did you did you do something? Oh, uh, we found an investment property and discovered pretty quickly how not easy it is. No, I would have thought it was so easy. They make it look so easy on TV all the time. How did you do it? Well, so so what happened? Come on, finish the story. A, a few things came up that we hadn't planned on or budgeted for. I. So they, Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi. How did you get out of this? Tell me. I'm, 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 I'm on the edge of my seat sitting here already. So they took the time to patiently explain our options and the pros and cons of each. And I still made the wrong decision. You still made the wrong decision, even though you had these people telling you all this stuff? Uh, Bobola, come on. What, what uh, next? Luckily, they took the time to patiently explain that to me, too. There oh, you go. There's thanks. Hey. Thank God. Yeah. May God love them. Yes. There you go. You there found you it. Go. You found where you needed to be. And now I'm <laughs> stuck in New York accent. Oh my God. Oh no. I'm going to be talking like this for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet. Thank you. That made me feel good. <laughs> oh, that was, that was as fun. She, as she reaches over like... and pats herself on the back like this. <laughs> uh, and of course, I, I I didn't do the New York accent and all anywhere near as good as Nathan could have. So. <laughs> yes, but it worked. <laughs> well, anyway, that's everybody, right? We've all got yes. it. All, all, right. Everybody. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've also got information down below how you can actually join us and be part of this awesome group. So we'd love to see you on. But yes. anyway. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, and we'll see you all next week. Join us every Monday for free script practice. You can also find the mic check on Facebook and Twitter. If you like what you saw, then subscribe for more.